Alan Downs is the author of a new book that's already creating a lot of talk among gay men. It's called The Velvet Rage, Overcoming the Pain of Growing Up in a Straight Man's World. What is the velvet rage, Alan? The velvet rage is about the kind of anger that develops when you have something inside yourself that you have to hide. Imagine that you're an outsider and there's something that you can't present to the rest of the world. It's a really poor secret. When did you know? I think I've known from the time I was very young but didn't want to believe it. And it was after I got divorced that I really came to terms with okay, it. Okay, so you are the man I want to talk to. Because <laughs> we were just saying this earlier. I, when we were talking about, you know, guys and how you know and gaydar and so forth, mm -hmm. and I think Carson was saying married, the guy was married, and I was saying, well, what does that mean in some cases? And I'm not talking about all married men, because I don't want you writing me emailing me. <laughs> I know my husband isn't gay. Good for you. <laughs> I'm, uh, good for you. I'm, ta I'm, I'm talking about in, in cases where men grow up and get married. Why did you grow up and get married, Alan? I grew up in a very religious household. Yeah. And I thought if I met the right woman and married her, it would change it. Because I, like everyone said, I didn't want to be gay. Mm -hmm. And meeting that woman would make me straight. You're, so, you're also so desperate to not be that way that you're willing to do and try anything. Yeah. And including married? And including in married. your case, it probably... I, I didn't Sometimes. think so, but... yeah. It, Sometimes, if you don't catch it early. And it's, yeah, and it's important to know many of us have women that we love. Yes. And that we're very close to. And yeah. I was very close to my ex-wife. She was my best friend. Yeah. I just confused that with, this is going to make me straight. Uh-huh. Right. So you tried to be straight? Absolutely. Yes. And yeah. so you had, you bonded with your wife and had sexual intercourse. I did. With her. We marked it off on, I marked it off on the calendar to notice when we had it. Really? Just so that the secret wouldn't be out. Because I'd begun to know, but I hadn't done anything about it. And I, it, it became a chore over time. It became a chore over yeah. time. So when did you finally tell her? It was literally after the divorce that we talked about it. Did she suspect that you were? Yes. She did. Did she ever confront you about it? Never did. And, and she didn't really um, suspect it, I think, until the marriage started to fall apart. Really? Yeah. How did she react? Horrified, uh, extremely angry, as mm -hmm. you can imagine. Yeah. yeah. Wondering, yeah. did I do this to you? Was there something that I did? If mm -hmm. I had been a better woman, if I had been a better sexual partner, maybe you wouldn't have turned out to be gay. Yeah. And did you tell her the truth? I did. That you'd always known? Uh, gently. Yeah. That's a hard thing to say. Yeah, because yeah. then the question is, then why did you deceive me? And that's a hard question to answer because you're, it's not an act of deception. It's really trying to convince yourself that you're straight. So, Billy, what's your theory on why some gay men seem to be so promiscuous? I think that men are promiscuous and women stop that from happening in heterosexual relationships. That's the difference. That so women stop Women that. stop the men. Yeah. Promiscuity is not unique to gay men. Uh, this is straight gay yeah. across the board. Yeah. And our relationships have the shortest tenure of any, any that are measured among any group of people. And, it, and the number one reason is because of promiscuity. And the, and the reason that I explore is that it is because of shame. It's because that, that sense of knowing there's something about you that's unacceptable, that's not okay. And the kinds of behaviors that you learn when you're not out of the closet Long after you come out of the closet, you continue to engage in that splitting off, dishonesty, inauthenticity. Yeah. Going to other men to try to make yourself feel better. And does that are. normally happen with men who hid it for too long, who yeah. are not comfortable with being who they are? Well, let me say, it happens with all of us mm -hmm. when we've been shamed about some significant part of ourselves, especially our sexuality. Correct. But for gay men, yes, who've been shamed, it definitely happens. Yes. And so is the shame a direct cause of the promiscuity you're saying yes yeah yes. yeah why do some gay men have this quest for perfection well imagine there's something about yourself that you've got to hide something that's not okay something that's not acceptable you're gonna wave a red flag out there and say look I'm actually okay look at this look at my success I think it's interesting what you were saying about shame how no matter who you are if you are shamed that it causes you to feel a sense of being enraged you know, a lot of women are sexually uh, abused at an early age, are shamed, uh, become promiscuous. And I, I was a promiscuous teenager. Right. Because, and now hearing you say that, I'm thinking, oh, that's what that was for, right. uh, being shamed. Anytime you've got that secret about yourself, that horrible secret that you've got to hide, 
that creates that shame. And then we begin to see a lot of these behaviors coming out and across the board for all of us.